Not many people are buying physical games anymore, and digital games are on the rise. The downside of that is that when they're pulled down from the servers, they're gone forever. And then that's where I step in. I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and I am going to count down the top 30 Xbox Live Arcade games specifically for the Xbox 360. So you better pick them up now before it's way too late. Second Opinion Games Number 30, Ilo Milo. This cutesy game revolves around a very simple plan. You just have to get one character next to the other. However, that's not going to be nearly as easy as you might thought because this is just a devious puzzle game with tons of geometrical shapes and a camera that you have to maneuver around in order to see where the heck you're going. You're going to have to think in a very three-dimensional form just to play this game, and sometimes your brain is really going to start to hurt. However, these puzzles were deviously created to slowly ramp up to teach you all the little things that you can do, like picking up blocks and putting them down, or even sort of handing them off to the other critter and then using that block in another way, in another part of the level, to maneuver your way around. It's also one of those collectathon style games, which means it's easy to learn, hard to master, because on almost every single level, there's one or two little things that you need to pick up or find that are almost impossible to get to unless you truly know the mechanics of the game. Boss battles? No one needs them here because it's all about the cuteness. The music is also so calm, I think it was ripped directly from a Nintendo game. In particular, Yoshi's Story from the Nintendo 64. It sounds almost exactly like that with a few more tweaks. The background graphics you don't even notice when you're playing because you're entirely focused focused in on what the heck these little buggers are doing. And that's where the game just really shines. The fact that it's simple and complex at the same time, and when you complete a puzzle, you feel like a total genius. Even if the creators of the game were pretty much holding your hand and walking you through one step at a time, you feel like you did it all on your own. So good job, you, and great job, Hilo Milo. So what did you think of Milo Milo? Does it deserve to be one of the top 30 games of all times? Well, let me know what one of yours is, because even though I have my list completely made out, I'm more than willing to manipulate it to fit in some of your all-time faves, or maybe even bump it up a few notches. Well, let's see in the future, because this is going to be one heck of a ride. So until later, I will see you again, guys.